Hello everyone, my name is Viet. Welcome to new virtual session. Today I'm going to present our recent study named Extensively Matching for Future Learning Event Detection. In this paper, we consider event detection under future learning setting and propose two training signals to improve performance of future event detection. First, let me introduce about event detection tasks. Event detection is a widely studied task in information extraction. The main goal of event detection is to detect events expression and classify it into a class of interest. For example, given a sentence, the police shot the drug dealer. The word shot express an event of attack. So an ideal event detector should be able to recognize it and classify it into a class of attack. In the second example, given the sentence, the undercover cop was fired. The word fired might belong to an event of end position, attack, or die. In this case, additional context should be captured in order to classify this event. Although event detection has been applied in many applications, there is one significant problem. Most of the current state-of-the-art event detection models are mainly supervised models. Turns out, facing a new domain, they fail to recognize unseen event type, and the knowledge learned from training dataset is not well transferred. As a result, in order to apply event detection in real-world applications, one has to annotate more data for the new event type, which is really expensive, or they have to suffer from low performance. Therefore, in this study, instead of following supervised learning settings, we propose to formulate event detection as a future learning problem, because Future learning offer a very high generalization ability on unseen classes, while require just a few examples per class. Under supervised learning setting, an event detection system has to predict the label for a given query instant X regarding to a set of predefined label T. Whereas under future learning, the event detection system is given not only the query instant X, but also a subset S. The subset contain N by K well-classified instances as a reference, in which N is the number of classes and K is the number of instant per class. The event detection model has to predict the label for the query instant with regard to the set of label in the query, in the support set. There are many models have been proposed to tackle future learning. One of them is prototypical network. In prototypical network, the, pro, the model first encode query instant and support instances using a neural network denoted by function f. For each class or cluster, it calculates a representative vector named prototype. Then it predicts the label of the query instance based on the distance distribution between the query instance and the prototype. Prototypical network is a strong model in computer vision where the model has access to a massive amount of training data. Whereas in event detection, the data set is significantly smaller, result in bad performance. Therefore, in this study, we propose to exploit the matching information between instances in the support set to supervise the model. This has not been done in prototypical network. Our intuition is that the representation vector of instances in the same class should be similar, whereas 
representation vectors of instances in different class should be different so that we propose two training signals, namely intra-cluster and inter-cluster matching. The intra-cluster matching minimizes the distance among representation vectors of instances in the same class, whereas the inter-cluster maximizes the distance among prototypes of the clusters using negative cosine similarity. We first evaluate metric-based future learning model, including prototypical network, relation network, and matching network. We find that prototypical network is the best model. You can find the detailed experiment in the paper. Then using this addition, then using our proposed additional training signal, we evaluate models with three kinds of sentence encoders, including convolution neural network, long short term memory, and graph convolution neural network on prototypical and attention-based prototypical network. This table shows the performance of models with and without proposed training signals. As can be seen from the table, additional training signals significantly improve the performance of model realist and coder architectures. We also conduct an application study on two proposed training signals. Out of six experiments, five show that removing either in intra cluster or inter cluster hurts the performance. This again, this again confirms our proposed method. To summarize, in this study, we investigate event detection under future learning setting. We formulate the event detection problem as a future learning problem. We provide baseline for future study in event detection. We propose two training signals that have improved the future learning event detections. If you have any question, please email me at the email on the slide. Thank you.